Life lessons from pumpkin carving. We're gonna need cutting tools, a goop scoop, non-flammable candles, a pumpkin, which is gonna be a metaphor of your life, and of course, my homegirl, Miss Chalabella. Work it, work it, work it, girl. So let's begin. Our precious little pumpkin is covered in dirt right now. This represents the negative stuff in our lives, and we're just gonna have to dust it off, dust it off, get rid of all that negativity, get rid of all those negative thoughts, so all that we got is a clean, shiny pumpkin. Inhale, take a look at that negativity. Ain't nobody want that. Throw that negativity out. So now we're cutting through our pumpkin. Chella's making great progress while I'm moving like snail pace right now. That's okay. Progress is progress. You can do it. Surround yourself with people that support you. Okay, now you're supposed to. Oh, that actually just like came off really easily. Yeah. Ew. Eww, <laughs> look at that. You know this. <laughs> but the nice thing about bad things is that even though it does suck, there's always something positive you can take out of it. We can decide to just focus on the pumpkin seeds <laughs> instead of the gross stickiness. Goopy stuff. And be like, you know what? We can toast them and eat them. Or plant them and make more pumpkins. Don't be afraid of the bad things that happen in your life. Don't be afraid to overcome them. Like, oh, this, this is really cool. <laughs> and most of the time, you don't want to face things head on. For most part, it's the only way to really overcome it and make something positive out of it. Yeah, there's still a lot of goopiness, but you know what? That's life. Like, and I'm gonna go wash my hands because ain't nobody want no negativity in your life. Nope. I don't want to be happy. That looks good. What do you guys think? That look good? Drop Gonna it. wash my hands. Kill our entertain them. I don't know how to entertain you. The life is what you make it. And I want my life to be happy. So we're gonna make it happy. And it doesn't have to be aesthetically correct. Nobody's perfect. No. You're gonna have a very tough life if you're gonna convince yourself that it has to be perfect. And exactly. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull this out. What do we got here? This is our pumpkin. This is beautiful. We need to name him. <laughs> it's so happy. <laughs> Okay, I think we have to do this one at a time. I'm yeah. gonna do teamwork. We're gonna do one Mike. eye, you do the other eye. And then we'll figure things out as we go. <laughs> half, half the mouth. <laughs> What do you guys think? <laughs> Is he happy enough? Happy enough? We should have made it like the Joker. Whoops, we've got some goop left over. You know what? Life is a process, so you're gonna have to go back and work at it again. There we go, much better. Okay, so Chella? Yeah. So we're gonna put the lights in. Alrighty. Then we're gonna, gonna turn off those lights. Okay. So we can get another metaphor so going on here. When you're surrounded by like darkness and gloom and negativity, it has to come from within, like the positivity and the drive, and that's kind of like what's happening here, right? Da, 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 da. So yeah, keep your positivity up because it, it spreads like wildfire. Okay, we're gonna put this on display somewhere, okay. and we're gonna do something that makes us happy, so I hope you go and do that too. All right, lovely people of the world, we are out. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, if this video inspires you, please share it to those you wish to inspire. Oh, and please check out this other video. So I'm on a mission to discover what I can achieve when I start doing what I love and what I'm passionate about. But it's like, how do I get there? How do I actually make this happen?